the scanner can detect these changes in blood flow, giving us a completely new window into the fascinating world of the mind. Using this technique, we can actually watch the brain at work. Here, I'm listening to music. Not one, but several areas light up. This part of the brain is where we process all sounds, and this is where we appreciate music. Amazingly, there are even separate bits for melody, for rhythm, and for pitch. But what's actually happening deep inside the brain? It's a fascinating story, but it's complicated. It all starts with this tree-like structure, a single brain cell or neuron. Here is an actual neuron, magnified 10,000 times. Neurons are the tiny building blocks of the brain. They do something remarkable, which prompts all our thoughts. They fire an electrical impulse. Amazingly, we can now see one firing. This is the first time it's been shown on television. The electricity is bursting along the neuron at 400 kilometers an hour. Here we're seeing it in slow motion. Within a tiny fraction of a second, it's ready to fire again. Your brain has a staggering 100 billion of these neurons. Together, they could generate enough and still, the branches of each neuron are connected to thousands of other neurons. It's hard to grasp the sheer scale of all these connections. Imagine a bustling city the size of New York. Give every person in that city 10,000 pieces of string. Tell each person to attach each piece of string to a different person. Now make the city a thousand times bigger this is the incredible tangle we call the brain. And there's more. Go deeper into this tangle, travel along a single neuron, and take a close look at the junction with its neighbor. Oddly, the neurons are not physically joined together at all. There's a tiny gap. To bridge this gap, the neurons release minute quantities of chemicals every time they fire. Chemical go-betweens that influence our thoughts. This cocktail of chemicals swirling about the brain is finely balanced. It needs to be to control the activity of the brain. Because it's so much on the knife edge, it's very easy to disrupt 